Hey guys, this is uh, Pokemon Fire Red video number two. I keep wanting to say Blaze Black. Um, right off the bat, I do want to send a shout out to uh, Landorus Bros, who made my uh, new icon, my new Sir Noctowl icon. So uh, yeah, check out his uh, channel. Um, and yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for making that for me. It's really really cool. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is video number two. We're here in Viridian City. And we're gonna just kinda, you know, explore the town. Go off to uh, Route 22, do a little bit of training, fight a battle out there, and then we'll head up to Viridian Forest and make our way to Pewter City. So that's kinda what we're gonna be doing here. This is Route 22. This is the way to the Pokemon League, but we're not really ready to go over there yet. There's a Mankey, level 3. Go, oh, Charmander. And I'm going to try and catch it. I'm still trying to catch Pokemon to uh, use his HM Slaves, and he'll be good for Strength and uh, Rock Smash. And also just, so I have, I think it's 10 Pokemon you gotta have to get Flash. And then you have to have like, what is it, 40 or 50 to get uh, the experience share. You have to have 30 to get the item finder. I think that's right. You have to have 30 to get the item finder and then either 40 or 50 to get the EXP share. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to get to any of those numbers. So, I won't have an EXP share or an item finder in this game. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we caught the Mankey. That's good. Not going to use him uh, for, like, any battles in the game. Just, uh, like I said, HMs. And I'm going to uh, stay down here and train a little bit longer because I want Charmander to be at level 9. Because uh, Sharon's going to come challenge us here in a little bit. and I just want Charmander to be ready. Here's a Spearow. That peg did some pretty good damage. Let's see. I'd like to catch a Spearow. Because then when I get to uh, Vermilion City, I can trade it for that Farfetch'd, and then that'll be another one. Ooh, that... Oh, burn. That's perfect. That's perfect uh, catching range. Got Spiro. All right, yeah, uh, Charmander's down a little bit, so I need to heal him up a little bit before uh, before I keep going. Here's a Rattata. Okay, just maybe like three more to get to level nine. 
Venki. He's level four. That might be enough, actually, to get me to nine. Yep, sure did. Cool. So now I'll head off this way. And there's Sharon. You don't have any either. That's why you're coming back. You're not still there. Okay. Rival Sharon sent out Pidgey, and I sent out Charmander. See how Pidgey's at level 9? Okay, critical hit. Now Squirtle, his uh his starter. And I decided to be a moron there and use Ember for whatever reason. Squirtle missed, that's good. I use scratch now. That doesn't do much either. It's gonna be another scratch and tackle fest until uh, one of us knocks the other out. Potion. Good job, Charmander. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so now we're going to head back to Viridian City after we fight this Rattata. Heal up and uh, head north, I guess. Always a good idea to heal heal the Pokemons. Okay, so we're gonna head up here and uh Yeah, we got this guy. He's gonna show us how to catch a Pokemon, even though we already know how. Even though we've already caught like what? Three. And he's gonna that's how I catch a Weedle. Of all Pokemon to catch. A Weedle. Even though that's not how you catch a Pokemon at all, you have to weaken it first. Duh. Alright, we got the Teachy TV, which I'll never use. And that reminds me, I need to go to the Mart and buy some stuff. You know, potions and antidotes for the forest. Because what if a, a Weedle uses Poison Sting on me, and I don't have an antidote? That would suck.
That should be enough. Let's see. Let's get some more Pokeballs. Four is good, I think. One more potion. Can never have too many potions, really. Nope. We're done. Route 2, everyone. Welcome to Route 2. Yeah, I won't get lost. I'm gonna go this way first because there's an item over here, but if you don't care about items, you don't need to go this way. You can just go right. And we can't buy repels yet, so I'm gonna be running into a lot of wild Pokemon in this video. That's okay, because they're all bugs, so they'll go down to Charmander really quick. And there's another one. Weedle. Almost made it out of there. Caterpie. Charmander. Ember. Okay, so that was really the only thing to get over there. Um, a lot of effort for one Pokeball or whatever it was. Antidote Pokeball. There's one over here, too. At this point in the game, you know, you really don't need to be shy about using Ember if you have Charmander. I think, was it Bulbasaur? The Vine Whip is only like 10 or 15. I always thought that was weird. And then he learns Razor Leaf, and that one's like 25 or something. I agree, you can never have too many Pokeballs. Alright, so here's our first uh, battle, first non-rival battle of the game against Bugcatcher Rick. He has a Weedle. We have a Charmander. I, I want to get him to evolve before I battle Brock. No, I can't hack it. That's why it's called Caterpie. I can't jam out if I'm a Pokemon trainer. No, no, no. This is Bug Catcher Doug. Weedle. And now Charmander is at level 12. That's cool. Mm. 
These cocoonas are really nice to battle the cocoonas and metapods because they can't really do anything to you. But you get a lot of experience for beating them. So I like battling the cocoonas and metapods. There's an antidote. Now Bugcatcher Anthony would like to battle and he's gonna send out Caterpie. Well Charmander as usual. You know, there's really no point in saying who I'm sending out, because it's always going to be Charmander. I mean, that's that's how this game is going to be. Until he evolves, and then it'll be Charmeleon. And then when he evolves again, it'll be Charizard. Oh, he learned Metal Claw. That's good. That Metal Claw is going to come in handy against Brock. But Catcher Anthony sent out Caterpie. I'm going to have to watch out for water types. I'm really going to have to watch out for rock types, especially when he evolves into Charizard since he'll be 4x weak to those. I'm hoping that he'll be so over leveled that those attacks won't knock him out. Um, I'm going to teach him TMs, various TMs, to kind of make him more, um, I guess, versatile. I'm going to teach him fly. I'm going to teach him uh, probably like dig. And then maybe, I don't know, a rock type move or something. But I don't see his uh, move set staying constant throughout the game. I think, I think it's going to kind of change here and there depending kind of what he's battling and who he's battling. So we just caught a Caterpie, that's always nice. Here's another one. Yeah, I knew that. So Charlie wants to battle. He's sending out a Metapod. I like battling Metapods. They're fun to battle. Metapod. 108, level... Oh. Caterpie. So probably these two will put him up to level 14. Maybe this one will, who knows? Not quite. So it will be the other Metapod that puts him to level 14. He evolves into Charmeleon at level 16. So... Yeah, he's not going to get to level 16 before this video is over, so... Before we battle Brock in the next video, I'm going to do a little bit of training. Hey, you know, I'll, t I'll take every wild metapod I can get. A 
Let's see, I know there's something down here. Potion. Potions are good. I think that's actually the second potion I found in here, right? Alright, Bugcatcher Sammy has a Weedle at level 9. Watch out. Okay, that was Bugcatcher Sammy. Made it out, cool. We don't need to talk to them. We just need to go to town. Pewter City. Alright, so uh, next video we are going to evolve Charmander into Charmeleon. And we'll take on Brock. See you then.